This weekend, Waterfront Park will be packed with more than 100 artists, transforming these sidewalks into masterpieces. And all of this is going to help Kentucky's most vulnerable children. I like dragons. Okay. I've kind of gotten the nickname the dragon lady. <laughs> Amanda Hoback is a natural artist, but chalk hasn't always been her medium of choice. I just have this God-given talent to, to draw and paint and sculpt and, and whatnot. And Dusty introduced me to this chalk. This is Hoback's ninth year participating in Via Calari. The festival raises money for New Beginnings Family Services, helping foster children throughout Kentucky, an issue that hits close to home for Hoback. I was adopted when I was 11, and I was separated from uh, a younger brother and sister that I basically took care of. I get to throw a party and I'm like a 12 year old sometimes and what do I want to see? If I were a child going to a festival, what would I want to see? So we were able to marry so many different elements of just fun. Dusty Saravo has helped plan the event for the past five years. This year it's going to create first night in placement comfort kits for foster kids. Um, and then we're going to seed a project that um, we're hoping will be statewide for trauma-informed babysitting. As of October 7th, 9,891 children were in Kentucky's foster care system. Organizers hope the proceeds will help alleviate some of the trauma these children go through. You hear so many bad things about foster care, we need to hear more good. <laughs> Via Kalari will also host art vendors, food vendors, musicians, and street performers. In Louisville, Christina Mora, WLKY News.